how to talk to short people. Wrong? Correct. Just grab them by the neck and squeeze until they stop wriggling. How big is Night Stalker? Like, we know he is big. As in, as characters in the book have described him to be, you know, kind of gigantic. But how big is he, exactly? Canonically, dragons in the world of uh, Wings of Fire uh, universe, they're actually that, about the size of whales. So, I have to know how tall or how big Darkstalker is in order to gauge how scared I am of him. <laughs> Queen Scarlet, what do you have to answer to the unfairness of your arena? Build a man of fire, and he is warm for a day. Set a man on fire, and he is warm for the rest of his life. Now, I'm not saying I agree with Scarlet here, but she is kind of technically right, which defeats all other kind of rights. Even the rights of the man that she allegedly set fire to. <laughs> introducing magic to your fantasy book series. Other authors, I should be careful with introducing magic and limit to it. If I make it too overpowered, then a lot of the story can be ruined. 2ET Sutherland. Frick it, we ball just a bunch of times. God, Animus Magic is scary and overpowered as hell as I come to realize. And you know what's crazier? It didn't ruin the universe at all. I don't know how Tui managed to do it, but she was able to introduce an overpowered ability to her stories, but still managed to make it work. I want to be that kind of writer. Which mentally ill are you? The my life is falling apart. Overwhelmed by everything, real need to hug. The huh, my life is falling apart. No more motivation to do anything. Can't and doesn't want to get diagnosed. The my life is falling apart, Lamal. Humor is their only coping mechanism. Bottles up all of their feelings. I feel like I'm a mixture of all of these. I need a hug. I don't want to get diagnosed because I already have too many problems on my hands and I probably can't afford it. And I use humor to cover the fact that my life is pretty much falling apart. He will never be hot. <laughs> ah yes, the... <laughs> Here we can see the influence of the very fandom, because god forbid a writer creates a book series solely about dragons and the furry fandom ignores it. They're not gonna ignore it. They're never gonna ignore it. They're not gonna be able to ignore it. They can't. Darkstalker. Talk to Arctic? Nah. Disembowel him using animus magic, traumatizing an entire whole tribe. Yeah. <laughs> If there's ever someone out there who claims that Wings of Fire is for children, that person either hasn't read the books or is a goddamn liar. And I'm still reeling from the severed head incident. My mind simply cannot let that go. People complaining about Kibli stands in the comments. Kibli stands. Kibli has stands? I mean, I, granted, he's a great guy, a little flawed, sure, but he has stands? I would think... Winter would have more stance considering how edgy he is. Deathbringer when he sees glory in the Hidden Kingdom. Maybe I don't want to follow orders anymore. Yeah, it, dude fell in love really quickly. Like, legit, this is, what, this is what happened, right? Dude saw a girl that could legitimately kill him and he thought, You know what? I want to have kids with her. Uh, I'm not saying that I hate this ship. Glory X Deathbringer is absolutely adorable. But Deathbringer, for whatever reason, fell in love with her just a little too quickly. I don't know why. Burn. Wow, they really hate us. Scarlet. Yes, perhaps they're homophobic. But we're not gay, Scarlet. Scarlet. Burn. We're not? Ah! <laughs> ah, look. A ship that I kind of sort of support, but not really. I mean, I could hate it. But they're both dead, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Wipe out an entire tribe or be reasonable, Dark Stalker. <laughs> I feel like the word reasonable is not or will ever be a part of Dark Stalker's vocabulary. He'll just come up with a way to enchant anything if it bothered him enough. Average Keebly liker. Ooh. Average Keebly disliker. Swag. That's something that is equally surprising to me. There are Keebly haters? Really? He's like the most okayest guy in the series. I mean, Clay is also kind of chill, and Sunny is an absolute uh, cinnamon bun, but I, th I would think that Keebly, with his humor and relatable self-doubt, would be, you know, the most likable. Why do people dislike him? I don't understand this. Keebly haters. Keebly stands. Agreeing that Quinter is the best ship. Eh. I, I, I agree, disagree. 
you know, granted, Quinter is a cute ship, but it's not the best. Personally, I'm more into, you know, Glory X uh, Deathbringer because their banter is just absolutely adorable. Hell, it, it, I'll, I'll throw in Smolder and Thorn in there as well. Their love story is way more interesting anyways. You're an irredeemable monster! Oh, what took you so long, idiot? Food for thought. If a gigantic dragon starts talking to you in your head, talking about futures and prophecies, just ignore it. You know, if you're a dragon, go grab yourself some Skyfire so he can't read your mind because it's not really worth it. Clear sight. Seeing her dragonets in the future. Darkstalker beating a menace. Clear sight. I'm just gonna pull you away from that. <laughs> I haven't read Dark Darkstalker yet. I bought the book yesterday, and I am already expecting see to see a lot of this kind of interaction with both of them. Scarlet. I don't know how to tell you this, but I love you. Burn. That's great, Scarlet. Especially considering the fact that we've been married for six freaking years. Aww. And then in that case, I wish your marriage well. In hell, because you're both dead. <laughs> oh my god, Louis! It's Dragon It's of Destiny! <laughs> this is so stupid! And then the one thing that, that, that the Family Guy fandom wouldn't, like, you know, taint is dra Wings of Fire. I <laughs> can't even find the words for this! <laughs> Finding a new Wings of Fire YouTuber and loving their art and videos. Finding out she's homophobic. Why you gotta be- How you gotta be homophobic and be a fan of a book that has canonically gay dragons, my guy? God! Scavengers. After years of development, you finally invent gunpowder. You use the gunpowder to create firearms so you can kill dragons. Musket caliber is not big enough to penetrate dragon scales. Musket caliber is not big enough to penetrate dragon scales. <laughs> That's to be expected. Canonically speaking, the dragons of this universe are the size of whales. Like, think of the biggest whale we have, the blue whale, and that's basically a fully grown dragon. You might as well be hurdling pebbles at them if you're gonna be using a gun at them. Peril fact! I am a hundred meters from your location and rapidly approaching. Start running. I believe her. I believe her very much. A large, raging, fire-breathing dragon that has scales that can burn literally anything she touches. Yeah, I believe this threat very much. Uh, the world is cruel and unjust. There is no harmony in this universe. The only constant is suffering. Minutes later, Oh my god, Quinter! Yeah. One of the first ships from the series that introduced me to the Wings of Fire in the first place. And I haven't even read the first book yet during that time. And I've already, like, what, put put out two um, comic dubs of Quinter being gay. Thank you, Fate Hunter, for that. Um, and I gotta be, I'm planning on making a third one. Don't worry. But look at me now. It, <laughs> Wings of Fire is now my current fixation for this month. And if you are looking for, you know, a book series to get yourself into, and you're looking for something to entertain yourself, please, if you haven't already, read Wings of Fire right now. Right now is the best time to start that. You have a lot of backlogging library uh, you need to explore. There's like 15 books, uh, 15 main books that you need to get into right now. So, have fun reading. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.